Hello, hello, hello. What's going on, guys? Still getting set up. This has been absolutely nuts trying to get this connection going. Working on improving that, by the way, but uh, this is an impromptu live stream. Uh, just so that everyone knows, this is not going to replace tomorrow's scheduled live stream, so we'll be live streaming again tomorrow. Just trying something a little different today. I'm only going to be on for two hours, and I have to be I have to get off at two hours because <laughs> I have some other uh, things to take care of. So who do we have here? Dustin, what's good, brother? Good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Michael Knight, hey, bro, always a pleasure. Yes, normally I do stream on Wednesdays, my time, but I will be uh, back on again tomorrow, so no problem. Cody san, konnichiwa. Domo, tsukara sama desu. Genki desu ka? Kochira ko sou desu. Yoroshiku onegai itashimasu. Sorry about that. Shogun, what's good, brother? Good to see you. Yes, we do have some new information on that, and unfortunately, that appears to be um, the extent of the DLC that we're getting. I am not necessarily happy about it. So who else we got here? Mike, what's good, brother? Good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, Dustin, I think Thursday's update will finally get information on the upcoming DLC. And with the DLC coming, we'll probably get, uh, it'll probably be a good update, a uh, weekly update, because you know Rockstar is going to want us to make money before the new DLC. Yeah, Cody, exactly. Rockstar, fix your nanites. <laughs> KP Stacks, hey, what's going on, brother? Good to see you. Thanks for stopping in today. Good to see you. Yeah, Dustin, I agree. I wish that, uh, well, maybe it, it'll happen. Maybe they'll make some changes. You never know. Um, I do think that the uh, the raid timer should be fixed or eliminated, actually, for the uh, the biker DLC, for, for all of your biker businesses. There should be no raid timer, especially if you're solo. Because you have to be logged in as a CEO, VIP, or MC to, to run any of your other businesses. And I've said this during the last live stream. Weed is legal in Los Santos, so why is my weed business always getting raided? That makes no sense. As a matter of fact, I'll be putting up a video later on on MC Cell Missions, and you guys will see that I got raided in that. Uh, <laughs> I got raided in that video while I was selling. So it's absolutely absurd. So I think we're just about ready to start here. <clears throat> so I hope everybody's doing well out there. Again, welcome to today's live stream. This is an impromptu live stream. Uh, trying something a little different here. Let's bring that up. We should be good to go. Uh, let's see. Let's transition. Bam. Just give me one more second. I need to pull up chat on my laptop. So I hope you guys are doing well. Thanks for stopping by today. Again, normally I don't stream on Tuesdays my time, but uh, I'm trying something a little different with my uh, channel. And I want to be clear that uh, these impromptu live streams will not replace my regularly scheduled live streams. So they're going to take place as per usual. All right, so where are we? Here we go. And reason being is because uh, numbers across the board for um, uh, GTA YouTubers have, have been kind of down. Unless you're you're one of those really big GTA YouTubers. Uh, numbers aren't that great, and that's because the the GTA gaming community is down overall. So um, I'm thinking that if I add one or two additional live streams during the week, that'll probably help things a little bit. But again, I can only be on. I can't be on for more than two hours today. I have to take care of some uh, some other business. So. Uh, again, it's good to see everybody here. Thank you guys for showing up, especially the OGs and any new people out there. Uh, if you haven't done so, please take a second and hit that like button. It helps out the channel a ton. Looks like Streamlabs is working today. Thank you for not being a butt, Streamlabs. I appreciate that. <laughs> so, but to be fair, this is a really busy week in Grand Theft Auto. It is. Uh, it's a good week, believe it or not. Let's go ahead and get started here. Okay. 
it's a it's a good way. I mean, it's a good uh, it's a good week, I should say. Uh, to give you guys an idea, on my main PC account, uh, I'm going to be uploading that video later on today. I made uh, selling four businesses, four MC businesses that were just about half full, not even a full bar of, of uh, product, not even a full bar of product. My um, my MC businesses, out of four of them, I made two. I made almost three million dollars from those businesses at double cash. That is insane. Hey, Martin, what's good, brother? Good to see you. Thanks for stopping by today. Uh, uploading shorts is fairly easy. It's fairly easy. I'm, uh, what I would like to recommend is that you check out one of the tutorials on uh, YouTube for how to make a YouTube short and how to upload it. Uh, the one thing to remember is that any video that you upload for it to qualify as a short has to be, uh, it's got to be less than one minute long. And you have to include special uh, or uh, the, the shorts hashtag in the title and in the description for uh, YouTube to recognize it as a short. So just to let everybody know, this is old gen console, old gen Xbox. Uh, for the time being, I'm going to be rolling solo. And what we're going to do, what I'm going to do for this video, uh, KP Stacks, uh, look look for Liquid Crack. That's my username on uh, Xbox. As a matter of fact, uh, if you're new out there, uh, anyone that's new to the channel, please take a second to read the chat rules. It's very important. Also, there are instructions on how to join our crew uh, that's uh, administrated by Mondo. So if you're interested and uh, you put in a request and he approves your request, then welcome to the Odd Ones. What's that, Cody? You're interested in getting a Mustang Fox Body? <laughs> well, I mean, there aren't there like enough wrecked Fox Body Mustangs on the map in GTA Online? Rockstar needs to make that happen. Seriously. Uh, Dustin, I just... I, believe it or not, I just got the equipment in uh, today, so it's not set up yet. So I'll be probably be working on that tonight, and we'll see how that works uh, tomorrow. Okay, first thing I want to do. Let me get out of the uh, submarine. We are. I am going to run a Kayo, but before I run a Kayo, I need to make uh, a pit stop at all of my MC businesses to resupply them. And while those supplies are being created into a uh, product, I'll run the Kayo. And something else that I need to do, how much money do I have? All right. Let me go. Lester, I don't want to talk to you right now. Let me go to my uh, clubhouse. There we go. Um, <clears throat> Cody, yes, the bunkers can be raided. <laughs> Any, the only business that can't be raided in GTA Online is the agency. And that's because the agency is a legit business, even though you're doing some really questionable stuff. <laughs> but the agency is the only business that can't be raided in GTA Online. All the other businesses, specifically the ones that you can link to your nightclub, have a raid timer, and they can be raided. I think the only other obsession, upset, exception, excuse me, not obsession, the only other exception hey, is your CEO vehicle export business. I haven't seen I haven't seen that business be raided before, although you guys may have experienced that. I haven't. So that's probably the exception. Well, Dustin, I have to... I have to get all of the, the remaining components in. I thought you were talking about my streaming setup. I got some streaming hardware in uh, that should, when once I get it tested, hopefully eliminate the possibility of losing connection uh, during the stream. Right now, I'm on the old setup uh, for streaming, and hopefully I can get the new setup going uh, before tomorrow's live stream. I don't have all the computer parts in yet. 
I'm about 60% there, and I'm waiting for Amazon.us to send everything overseas. You talk about slow. You know, unfortunately, I couldn't get everything from Amazon.jp because they were either unavailable or they cost too friggin' much. <laughs> so that's the exception. All right. Since we're here, before I do anything else, I'm going to take $1 million. Actually, it doesn't even quite cost a million, I think. We'll find out. Where's my office? That's back here. Now, uh, Cody, that's a good point. I'm not sure if air freight can be rated. My assumption is that it can be rated. I would have to do some research on that, but I know for a fact that your bunker can absolutely be rated, and the nightclub can also be rated. Any business in the game that requires, uh, that not requires you, but uh, has an option for you to buy a security upgrade for it, can be rated. It has a raid timer. Uh, a. Martin, no, I don't have TikTok. And to me, that, that's because TikTok is a waste of time, in my opinion. Okay, let's have a seat. And again, I want to thank you guys for stopping by today. Much appreciated. If you haven't done so, please take a second to hit that like button. It helps out the channel a ton. Uh, and just as a reminder... This live stream, today's live stream, will not replace tomorrow's live stream. That stream will go down as scheduled. So, okay, I have these three. Where's the weed business? Here we go. Weed. And since I'm out here in the Grand Sonora Desert anyway, I want this weed farm right here. And it's only $357,000. So, yes, we're going to buy that. Give me that. Okay, that's done. So now we own the weed business. Okay, let's get over there, set that up, then I'll hit each other business and uh, resupply them. And while they're resupplying and creating product, we'll run the Cayo. If I can learn how to stand up. <laughs> there we go. We'll run the Cayo, and while the Cayo is going on, uh, then all of my product will be created at the biker businesses. And when the Cayo is finished, I'll sell off the biker businesses. Uh, Look here, the president of the motorcycle club. <laughs> you gotta love that barmaid. <laughs> Kick ass out there. Look here, the president of the motorcycle club. <laughs> yep, that's me. <laughs> Let's pick up this stash of uh, weed right here. Oh, the LD Organics. Give me that. And there's a hundred of these things on the map. We're not even going to waste that, that uh, time. So, Dustin, how do you like the Jester Classic? I thought about buying it because I, I do like that, that generation of uh, Toyota Supra. I kind of wish that... Uh, I kind of wish that Rockstar would bring the 1985-86 uh, model Toyota Supra into the game. That was a bad car. That was a lovely car. All right. Let's hit up these businesses, get this resupply going. Then we'll set up the biker business, the uh, weed business. It's funny. There's always a random car parked out here. You guys want me to do an episode of flipping cars on this, uh, on this BF uh, Dune? Let me know in the comments. I'll do a uh, I'll do a flipping cars episode on this one. What's that, Cody? You have over a billion dollars, or you've made over a billion dollars? Nice. If, if I ever have that kind of money in GTA, somebody shoot me. That means that I've been playing the game way too long. Oh, 
okay, so you haven't customized yet. Okay, so <laughs> so Dustin wants me to do a flipping cars episode of the BF Dune. Okay. So Cody, you want to see an episode on the BF Dune? Okay. Yeah, KP, seriously, if I ever have that kind of money, um, <laughs> then somebody shoot me. That means I've been playing the game way too long. Pat, hey, brother, what's going on? Good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, now, it appears that I've never come out here before. I don't think I've ever been to any of my MC businesses since I bought them on this character. Can we get through all of this? So there's a little bit of product here. Which is weird. Okay. Well, there's nothing really to sell. Let's resupply. Yeah, the uh, none of the equipment upgrades are on sale for the other businesses. They are on sale for the weed business. So we're not spending a million dollars on any of this. What we're going to do is resupply. <clears throat> Let's confirm. Okay, we're going to go to each business and resupply. And while this stuff is cooking off or being uh, produced, uh, we'll do the Kayo. Pat, are you serious? Ouch. <laughs> yeah, today your counterfeit cash factory got busted. I swear, Rockstar should do something about that. What I don't like about the raids is that if you have so much as one pallet of goods in any of your MC businesses, that sets off the raid timer. You can be raided with one pallet of goods, and it just screws up everything. Rockstar should adjust that. They really should. I mean, I get it. They don't want people sitting on a bunch of drugs. But, you know, weed is legal. <laughs> weed is legal. If nothing else, there should be no raid timer for the weed business. But my reed, weed business can still be raided. So, Pat, I, I feel for you, brother. Uh, you'll see in the video that I'm going to publish later on that uh, my methan was it methamphetamine no, it was my cocaine business. My cocaine lockup got raided. But I stopped the raid just in time. Okay, these guys are not doing anything. So I got supplies in here. I didn't know that. Okay, let's log in. Let's resupply. I didn't know that I had supplies in here. That's actually not good. <laughs> so, so once this stuff hits about half a bar, we're going to sell. All right. So, what's better than resupplying, I hear you ask? Mm -hmm. Resupplying at the same time as desupplying your motorcycle club competitors. <laughs> now, one of their riders is carrying the stuff, so you're going to keep knocking them off their bikes till you find the guy who's got what we need. I boo-booed. I was supposed to buy that. Okay, the Vagos are where? Okay, knock the Bagos, Bagos off their bikes. Okay, so I can't kill them. Figures, right? It's probably the guy that's all the way out in uh, Polito Bay. We'll find out. Yeah, Pat, you have my, uh, you got my condolences on that one. That's that's painful. But like I said, Rockstar should really adjust the raid timer. They should adjust the raid timer for the MC businesses. That makes absolutely no sense. Knock them off at bikes, this says. So what happens if... 
Seriously? What is this dude made of? Titanium? Did he have the stuff? Nope. <laughs> it's probably the guy that's all the way out at uh, Polito Bay. Alright, let's fly over the friggin' mountain. Yeah, I screwed up. I was supposed to buy the supplies. Yeah, or made out of tung tungsten, exactly, Cody. I don't know where Rockstar gets the uh, physics for these, uh, for some of these NPCs. It's just like the, the English Dave mission where you gotta uh, steal pizza from the, the kid that's on the scooter, the Fagio scooter, but for some reason when you hit him, it's like hitting a brick wall. And the only way to stop him is to shoot him in the back of the head, which makes absolutely no sense. Yeah, Pat, that, that happens to the best of us. Like I said, uh, you guys will see in my next video that I got raided too, but there's no way to conduct business in the game without being a CEO, VIP, or an MC. And that also sets off the raid timer. Alright, I got something for him. Okay, he had the stuff. <laughs> yeah, Shogun, exactly. Rockstar should fix that. And hey, welcome to the channel, Shogun. Good to see you. Just in case I missed you in the early shoutouts, brother. Welcome. Good to see you. Yeah, Dustin, that's true. The supplies are free when you collect them yourself, when you steal them. The problem is that stealing the supplies, uh, there are two problems with that. Number one, you don't get as many. Uh, because stealing supplies will sometimes only give you a quarter of a bar. Sometimes you'll get a half a bar of supplies. If you buy the supplies, you get a full bar. So that's the big difference. And it depends on how much time you want to spend uh, stealing the supplies. So because all of the supplies or resupplies for your bike or businesses are 40% off, I'm going to, uh, for the, the other two businesses, I will buy them. I screwed up on this one. I was supposed to buy the supplies, but I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. So, so here we are. All right, where is... Like I said, I don't know about you guys, but I like the Grand Sonora Desert. This is a cool place to be. Although, if you don't have, like, a flying vehicle, you're pretty much screwed. Alright, supplies are delivered. Oh, Cody, that's pretty cool. We got what we need. LJT signing off. Yeah, see, look at the supplies bar down there. That's all the supplies I got from that. That's, that's pretty bad. So I'm not going to spend the entirety of this uh, live stream uh, stealing supplies. Yeah, I was supposed to purchase
There. And when the supplies are at, uh, when the uh, product is half a bar, that's when I'll sell. Because that means that I'll have at least two vehicles. So, Cody, uh, are these uh, like classic, uh, classic commercials from like the uh, from early two thousand or before? I'd, I'd like to see that. That's pretty cool. Uh, Pat, routinely, uh, DLCs. The most expensive things in the DLC uh, is the property. The most expensive thing is the property and the uh, the vehicles. That would be the next expensive thing. It depends on how much. Um, how much of the DLC uh, do you want to interact with in the beginning? So if you want, let's say, for example, you want to you want to have all the vehicles and the property, you'll probably need about six mil, six million. That's my, ex, uh, my, my estimate. That doesn't include the cost of um, customization for the cars and, and to completely outfit, uh, completely outfit your business. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, again, it depends on how much uh, how much you want to buy for the DLC. If you just want to get like one car and get your business started and uh, grind up for the rest of the money, then probably two, maybe two and a half mil or three mil will get you there. But if you're looking to buy all the DLC cars and completely outfit the business and everything else, about six mil. That's my recommendation. Benny, hey brother, what's going on? Good to see you. Welcome to the live stream. All right, let's go to my broken down Coke factory. Yeah, Dustin, if that's the case, then your best bet is to just buy the property. Especially if you're, you're low on space. One of the things that I made sure to do was to buy all of the garages that I possibly could across all of my characters, both here on the console and on PC, when they were on sale at like 40% off a couple of months ago. Well, just about a month and a half ago, they were on sale. So I bought all of them. That way, I'll never have to worry about car space again. Hey, Benny, I'm doing well, sir. It's good to, again, it's good to see you. How are you today? Hey, no problem. I'm glad you're here. Thanks for stopping by, brother. Good to see you. All right, let's resupply. And let's buy the supplies this time because we don't have time for that. All right, that's done. Okay, it is, we're not going to sell the stock. Get me out of here. This dude's sitting here in his underwear. Man, I don't want to see that. Get out of here. So you know what I think is going to happen for the next, uh, not the DLC, but for this upcoming event week, Rockstar is probably going to put the upgrades and modifications for the remaining MC businesses on sale, and they're going to put the other MC businesses on sale as well. That's my guess. And if they do, that's the best time to outfit all of your MC businesses. Uh, in my particular case, because I don't actively manage my MC businesses, today is the exception. Uh, I only need them to link them to my nightclub. All right, let's go to the weed business and get that set up. Okay, the Enos Jubilee, believe it or not, is a pretty quick SUV. And the Buffalo STS, STX, excuse me, with the uh, the Amani Tech armor upgrades is just a beast. I absolutely love that car. That's I think it's the fastest muscle car in the game. Uh, not including any of the HSW upgrade vehicles. So, Dustin, seriously, you bought as much space as you could and you're still running low? Wow. Hey, we got an email from Maud. I was wondering what she was going to call me. Hey, Benny, like I said, welcome, brother. It's, it's good to see you. Thanks for being here. 
I do appreciate it. All right, let's get in here and get this set up. Oh, Pat, absolutely. If Document Forgery goes on sale, yes, I'm going to buy it. Again, I don't actively manage any of my MC businesses. So, uh, but you can take each one of your motorcycle club businesses and link them to the nightclub for a passive income. So, absolutely. If, if it goes on sale, I'm definitely going to buy it. Because I'm going to link that right to my uh, nightclub and make that passive income. Yeah, Cody, that's right. The deity had that rare livery. It did. And if I'm not mistaken, I think Rockstar is going to bring that livery back during the DLC. Not entirely sure about that. But that livery is rare. A Shogun. Yeah, we'll probably try to get that tomorrow during tomorrow's live stream. Uh, because you have to complete all three uh, short trips to get it. But I'm definitely going to try to get it during tomorrow's live stream. If not, I mean, you know, it, it's just a t-shirt, but I think it's a pretty cool t-shirt to get. Yeah, Cody, I just flew over that area, and she told me that, she, and I got the, the message from her. So I'm not sure what triggers that either. I'll have to do research on that one. Hey, Mike, I appreciate that. Yes, please smash that like button. It helps out the channel a ton. And if you are new here, don't be afraid to say hello. We're all a family. You OGs out there, make everybody feel welcome. You know you got to represent. But if you are new here, please, please, please take a second to read the chat rules. It's very important. All right, let's get this place set up. If I can stop T-posing, here we go. Let's log in. So we need to set up first. Pat, yes, you can. Uh, but basically, what you'll have to do is wait until one of your uh, one of your workers of is idle. So, if you let's say, for example, you've linked all of your businesses and uh, all of your workers are pre-assigned doing something else, uh, just wait until one of the one of the businesses or warehouses in your nightclub is full. Then reassign that technician to the uh, to the uh, to the empty business, if you will. And that that's pretty much what I do. You can only have five technicians at one time, I think, which means uh, two of the businesses are going to be idle, but you accrue goods so fast in your nightclub when you have the staff and equipment upgrades. You know, it's 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 fairly easy to get uh, to have one of your nightclub technicians or warehouse technicians at your nightclub become idle. So, I mean, I go if I go to my nightclub right now, my guys are not working because my business, the, the warehouses are full, except for the weed, because I just got that one. But yes, you can link, you can link a business to your nightclub, uh, uh, even if your warehouse technicians are uh, already assigned to something else. And what I mean by linking is that once you buy the business, uh, that business uh, automatically becomes linked to your your nightclub. The only thing you have to do is assign a technician to it uh, for that technician to begin accruing goods for that uh, business. All right, let's get these supplies. We may or may not get attacked. Yeah, Dustin, ex I agree with that exactly. That's the only reason that I'm uh, managing my nightclub businesses this week. Like I said, on my main PC account, of my four businesses, my, my uh, cocaine, my methamphetamine, uh counterfeit cash and now my weed business all of them are upgraded fully upgraded with the uh, staff and equipment upgrades I made almost three million dollars on double cash and RP and that is insane and the the funny part is that I only had half a bar of product that's it I only had half a bar of product to sell and I made almost three mil so that is stupid good money right there <laughs> ha 
So if we, we look at the nondescript vehicle here, smoke on the water, prescription cannabis. <laughs> okay, I'm going to send my uh, vehicle back. But again, thank you guys for stopping by today. This is an impromptu Tuesday live stream. Uh, today's live stream will not replace tomorrow's live stream. Uh, so my Wednesday live stream will go down as scheduled. This is just something impromptu so that I can capitalize on this uh, double money for the biker businesses. Uh, although I am kind of curious. I wonder if I can... If I find this vehicle, if I can keep it. Because <laughs> that is a sick livery. Check that out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. I was reading chat and ran into the fruit stand. I'm riding in the dirt trying to read chat. Oops. Sorry about that. This is why you should never uh, read chat on your cell phone and uh, drive at the same time. Let me get caught up on chat. Yeah, you know, Dustin Rockstar should give us two more technicians, but that might be a limitation on the uh, the game code. I don't think Rockstar is being stringent. That could be a limitation of the game code itself. There may be some reason behind it. What's that, Cody? That's Franklin's business in story mode? Nice. I need to check that out. <laughs> Yeah, Pat, I think the next the double money, um, CEO Special Cargo would be nice. It would. But I, you know what I think Rockstar is going to do? I think they're going to put, um, well, yeah, you know, you could be right. We're going to get some good double money next week, I think. But I do think that Rockstar is going to uh, make the remaining biker businesses 50% off. That's just speculation. I don't have any uh, any confirmed proof of that, but that's uh, I would like to see that. CEO Special Cargo at double cash is pretty cool. Although I don't like grinding crates, it's still really good money. Yeah, Pat, exactly. Very nondescript vehicle. Very nondescript vehicle we have here. Pay no attention to the uh, to the to the five leafed plant on the side of the van. This can't possibly be an illegal weed vehicle. But again, I, you know, my question is, if weed is legal in Los Santos, why do we have to do this? <laughs> you know, why is it that my weed business continually gets raided? All right. Weed production has started, so this one's good to go. <laughs> yeah, Pat, exactly. <laughs> and worse, worse yet, crash into the uh, fruit stand on the way. Yeah.
Yep. You know, I would uh, you know, buying the the businesses in Polito Bay. Um, the only problem with having businesses that far away from the city. Delivery received. They've got what they need to start production. Long John Teabag saying bye bye. <laughs> The only problem with having a business that far away is that uh, if you're solo, it's going to make deliveries difficult. Not impossible, but difficult. So if you're running with a crew, then, you know, it's not as bad. But because I normally play solo, I, as much as possible, avoid buying any property out at Polito Bay. Okay, so those, those properties have their goods. We're good here. Dom, shut up. I really wish we could turn him off. All right. So while I'm here, let's upgrade this business. Because if I don't buy the business upgrades, I will forget. Okay, so I want the equipment upgrade, and I want the staff upgrade. And then we'll run a Kayo to uh, pay for all of this. You know, uh, Dustin, what's funny is that the Cuban 800 is actually free. You get that vehicle for free. Especially if you have, uh, if you've got a hangar. Okay, buy upgrades, staff, confirm. Okay, so that's done. And I'm curious to see how much money I can make when... Three of my four MC businesses aren't fully upgraded with staff and equipment. So I'm, I want to see what the profit turnaround is going to be. Uh, Cody, yes, they do. Uh, as a matter of fact, marijuana in Japan is absolutely legal. It's completely legal, 100%. So uh, we have had people, uh, visitors to Japan from other countries bring uh, weed in through customs and promptly be arrested as a result of it. That has happened before. It still happens. So no, uh, marijuana of any any sort is illegal in Japan completely. Get me out of here. Dustin, yes, my bunker is still out at Polito Bay and that's because I don't actively manage the bunker. I only have the bunker for uh, passive income for my nightclub. Pat, I agree. The DLC update needs to have uh, a caller ID so that we know who's calling us. <laughs> More so than what we have. That way we don't get called by these guys. Now, funny, the funny thing is that uh, during the summer DLC, there was supposed to have been an option implemented that allows us to, uh, to block uh, certain calls so that we're not frequently being called by people like Simeon or, or English Dave or Dom, but I haven't seen it. All right, let's stop uh, doodling in the desert here. Let me disband, because right now the raid timer is going on. So now that we've got those goods cooking off, let's go to the Kosatka and fire up, if I can find it. There we go. Let's go to the submarine. Yeah, Dustin, that's true. It is useful to have one property in Polito Bay because it allows you to spawn out there. What's that code? Yes. <laughs> Outstanding Desert Doodler because that's exactly what I was doing. <laughs> All right. Let's go talk to Pavel. That's if he's not down here eating a can of beans.
Actually, I'm curious. Is he down here eating a can of beans? No, he's not down here. Do I have snacks? Nope. I got him now. Let me grab this gun while I'm here. We'll take that. Let's grab those Molotovs. Alright, let's go. Now we're ready. Or drinking the Navy wine, exactly. At any point in time, you can come down here and find Pavel eating a massive can of beans. Probably the single biggest can of beans I've ever seen. That's not a pot that he's eating from. That's a can. <laughs> you gotta love Pavel. <laughs> he's, he's one of the most... Uh, um, charismatic characters uh, in the game. Okay, motorcycle club, start. Let's fire up Kayo. Let's do it. Yes, or drinking the Navy wine. Uh, Pat, that is correct. Only the Buffalo, the, the standard Buffalo is available on the street. That's the one that you can steal. The Buffalo S is $96,000 on the Southern San Andreas Super Auto website in-game. And in my opinion, is well worth the money. Hey, we got to go to Fort St. Kudo. <laughs> Jeez. Yep, we're fast traveling. Fast travel. Yeah, I did a video on the Buffalo S. I absolutely love the Buffalo S. That car was well worth it. Extremely fast for what it is, too. All right, fast travel. You wish to set course, Captain. Hey, cool, Pat. I, I I like them both. I do. I think one you've got the you got the nice bef the the nice before and after contrast, because remember the Buffalo S was Franklin's original car in story mode, and now that Franklin's in online, he's got the white Buffalo STX sitting at the agency. So that's one of the reasons that I bought both. Okay, can I stand up? Yes, I can. No, the Buffalo S is an absolute beast. It is. For a car, an in-game car that only costs $96,000, it's a beast. Well worth it. So that was one of the first cars that I put in my agency garage. Then I bought the STX afterwards. And it's got really good customizations on it for an OG car. So otherwise, how's everyone doing out there? It's good to see you guys. I know we have a small crowd today, but again, this was a this is an impromptu live stream. Normally, I don't live stream on Wednesday or Tuesdays, excuse me, but uh, because I want to try to bring in a little extra cash on my console account, I figured I'd do some some money grinding for the MC businesses, and why not put up a live stream for that as well? All right, so where are these guys? And this time I have to remember not to blow up the plane. Hey Cody, that's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, he's dead. It's funny. I remember the last time I did a Kayo, 
I blew up my plane twice. <laughs> I blew up the plane twice. It was hilarious. Mondo, hey sir, what's <laughs> what's going on? Good to see you today. Yeah, this is a this is an impromptu live stream today. Services, Kosatka, return. This is an impromptu live stream. Uh, today's live stream will not replace tomorrow's scheduled live stream, so I will be live streaming again tomorrow. Seriously, I don't have enough runway to take off. This plane sucks. There we go. That's better. And why is the door open? Rockstar, fix your game. Planes don't work this way. What is this? Oh my god. <laughs> Everybody out there in chat say it with me. Rockstar, fix your game. Or fix your planes. What's that, Pat? Let's go back-to-back -back streams. Yes, sir. I will be live streaming again tomorrow, provided there are no uh, technical difficulties. So, Yeah, you know, Dustin, it's funny you should mention that. Sorry about that. I'm reading chat flying off course. The uh, PlayStation 4 controllers have a tendency to uh, experience uh, controller drift more often than they should. So they got to be replaced kind of frequently. Xbox controllers don't seem to have that problem as much. I believe they still exist, but they're not quite that bad. Yeah, Pat, exactly. Planes don't fly like this. There's no reason for this plane to stay airborne with the door open like that. I'm sure that's just a minor oversight on Rockstar's part, right? So basically, you know, uh, the idea behind a running a, a stream today, a live stream, is to try something different on the channel because numbers across the board, not just for small uh, YouTubers like myself or small streamers like myself, I should say, small content creators. Um, normally before a major DLC, viewer numbers are down. And, you know, although this is a pretty good event week, you know, numbers are coming up slightly, but I'm trying something a little different. So I want to see if adding a few more live streams during the week will uh, will help the channel. Just just to see what happens. Not sure if this is something that I'd be able to keep up because live streaming is taxing. It can be really uh, it can be really taxing sometimes. Spotting, spinning eye. Hey Dustin, I'll tell you what happened to the good old days of PS1 and PS2 controllers. Greed. Greed on the part of Sony. That's what happened. And here it is. Even if you if you wanted to buy like a PlayStation 5, guess what? Sony publicly announced that they're increasing the price of the PlayStation 5 by 20%. They're raising the price of a console that you can't even buy by 25 or 20%. So that, so Dustin, I think that that answers the question. That's what happened to the good old days of good controllers, good quality components for your uh, your gaming systems. And that's uh, not not only going to be here in Japan, but I think they're going to raise the price in the states also if they haven't already done it.
So what we're doing is uh, we're running a Cayo Perigo heist concurrently with uh, biker sell missions. So once all of the product in my, my uh, biker businesses are ready for sale, once I finish the Cayo, we're going to sell that stuff off. And we're in the water. No problem. Piece of cake. Get up that hill. There you go. Okay, let's wait for the other Jeep. And just as a reminder, this live stream today will not replace tomorrow's live stream. The schedule of the live stream. This is an impromptu live stream just to test the waters to see if uh, adding one or two additional live streams during the week would be beneficial for my channel. And of course to talk to you guys as well. Not sure if you guys are going to be uh, as disappointed as I am in the winter DLC. You know, and, and I shouldn't uh, cast shade on it just yet. It's not out. Nothing's really been confirmed. And it could be a really good DLC. Uh, you know, but I think we had expectations of something a little bigger than what we're getting. Another, another drug business? Who asked for that? Uh, Pat, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Um, and that I play Grand Theft Auto Online. Again, I love this game. This is a phenomenal freaking game right here. This Grand Theft Auto is probably one of the single most um, successful games in gaming history because you can do things in this game that you can't do in any other game. And some games have come close. So I do play Grand Theft Auto when I'm not streaming and when I'm not creating content. But I also like to play uh, No Man's Sky, other games as well. And to me, in my opinion, believe it or not, No Man's Sky is a lot more fun because it's, it's not a competitive game. Grand Theft Auto Online is a competitive game. And that's one of the reasons why I don't play in public lobbies anymore. You know, the competitiveness, you know, playing against uh, griefers and other players that have no other... Um, they've got nothing else to do with their lives and to make your life miserable in a game, it's just not fun. Uh, the 7-Eleven Soul Gamer. Hey, brother, welcome back. Good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you're doing well today. All right. I'm calling it right now. It's the tequila. We're going to get tequila again. Because I got tequila on this one last time. <laughs> so. so let's see what we get here. There's that stupid panther. And, oh, it's the necklace. Okay. I'll take that. It's the necklace. What's that? You're doing well. Just started doing a live stream. Nice. Okay, what else do we have? Two paintings. Two paintings. No paintings. I don't think I've ever seen two paintings in El Rubio's office at one time, so there are no paintings here. All right. So we got the necklace. Cody, was that? Yeah, tequila la. Yeah, exactly. What do you think you're doing? 
<laughs> I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> How did I not die from that? This dude bought me back. He brought me back from the dead. How did that not happen? Joker, what's good, brother? Good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. I should have totally died by that. That dude brought me back from the dead. You guys see that? Yes, sir. The Joker is in the house. Let's get some 07s in chat. Hand salute. What's good, brother? Good to see you. What's that, Pat? You see something new? Yeah, this game never ceases to amaze me. Never. It never ceases to amaze me. The whole reason that I jumped off of the tower was to kill myself so I could get back here to the airfield, but for some reason, the, the guard spotted me, and I guess that's a way to cheat death? I don't know. Okay, there's nothing but cash here. Something's telling me this hall is going to suck. Hey, Joker, we're doing well, sir. Thanks for asking. How are you today? Again, it's good to see you. Yeah, this is a this is an impromptu live stream. I wasn't supposed to stream today, but I figure since I need to bring in a little extra cash, and uh, the money grinding is good for the uh, for the biker business. Okay, so we got some we uh, some cocaine. That is, excuse me here. I figured I'd jump on and do a stream. I know once I get off of stream today, I got to get right back to work on another video. So, not sure if we're going to get to selling off the nightclub, not nightclub, but the uh, the businesses. Oh man, this is terrible. Okay, so we got cocaine, cash, and weed. All right, I guess that's not too bad. Okay, and there's nothing here. So I gotta hit all three areas. Yeah, this is this sucks. This is not gonna be good. But I mean that's a full bag, so I shouldn't complain too much. Uh, Dustin, that would be pretty ironic. I would like to see a tie-in between El Rubio and Dax, believe it or not. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, what's that joke? Yeah, that's pretty bad. All cash? That's that's bad. Especially if you're solo. This one is not too terribly bad. We got the necklace. We got one stack of coke, one stack of weed, and a stack of cash at the airfield. So it's not too terribly bad. The hard part's going to be hitting all three of those areas and trying to get the um, the Elite Challenge bonus. So this is what we'll do uh, for this live stream. I think what we'll do is finish. We'll finish the Kyo because I have to be off at uh, around 4.15 in about an hour. We may not get to selling all of the uh, or any of the biker businesses today. So we'll probably leave that for tomorrow. For tomorrow's live stream. Again, today's live stream was impromptu. Uh, I'm just trying something different uh, for the channel to see whether or not adding additional streams during the week will help uh, help growth.
know, I haven't seen uh, I haven't seen our pilot. Where is our five star pilot Wired X? I haven't seen him around. Hey, Dustin, you know what that is? That's Rockstar digging at the bottom of the barrel right now. That's what that is. Fast travel? Nobody needs to fast travel. The, the whole point behind Grand Theft Auto is driving cars. <laughs> the whole point behind the game is traveling by car. That's the fun of the game. Fast traveling is nothing more than uh, Rockstar's excuse to hyperinflate uh, GTA Plus. Because fast traveling is only going to be available for GTA Plus members. Services, Kosatka, request. Uh, Dustin, at this time I do not plan on playing a uh, Need for Speed. What is it, Unbound? I don't plan on it. And reason being is because it, it looks like a fun game. I know Digital Car Addict is, uh, he's playing it and he's making content for it. My problem is that it's an $80 game. That's just ridiculous. The game cost $80, and that's just the base game. 80 bucks. What is this? Whatever happened to the days of, of you know, you get a full-blown retail game at 50 bucks, at 60 bucks, whatever happened to those days. You know, most of the games that I buy, I think Grand Theft Auto is the exception, but most of the games that I buy, I get on sale. You know, I would have made an exception for, um, for the Saints Row reboot if it wasn't such a bad game, but here it is, even the Saints Row reboot, the base game is 60 bucks and that's that that is a rather badly rated game right now but if you want to get the full game everything with all of the additional content it's a hundred friggin dollars what is that so that that's why i don't plan on playing uh need for speed outbound or unbound not anytime soon not until it goes on sale Hey, La Mesa Police Station. I think I know where that uh, Phantom Wedge is. So let's go get it. Yeah, I, Dustin, I can agree with that. It'll go on sale eventually. You know, when it goes on sale, I'll visit it, but... Again, I'm not paying full price for a uh, for a game. Not at those prices. It's an $80 game, and that's just unacceptable to me. Okay, so if we're here... Let's take a look at the map... Okay, the Phantom Wedge should be somewhere in this area here. That's for the La Mesa spawn point, so it should be somewhere here. There it is. Hello. Found it. Now I just have to make sure that I don't blow it up this time like I did last time. Yeah, Dustin, I agree with that. If I can get an Xbox Series X, that would probably be the exception. But here it is. You can't get a next-gen console anywhere.
Yeah, normally I would go in guns blazing, but I'd blow up the truck if I did that. All right, he's dead. Let's go. Mondo, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. I will definitely be buying a Phantom Wedge when it goes on sale. I am pretty much shocked that Rockstar never put the Phantom Wedge on sale for Black Friday. That was a bit disappointing. But I th I'm pretty sure we're going to see a some kind of a Christmas sale in GTA Online. You guys better believe that's going to happen. So we'll probably get it on sale then. Boom! Move! Get out the way! Get out the way! <laughs> Let's not run into the uh, gas station, shall we? That would be bad. I'll get caught up on chat in just a second. Oh, oops, wrong turn. Sorry about that. There we go. Got it. All right, let's put the hammer down and not stop for anything. Yeah, I was also hoping to get uh, the Insurgent Pickup Custom during Black Friday, but unfortunately it wasn't on sale. Ooh. Jeez, that was close. But that's okay. I'm really happy with the uh, Deluxo. Really happy with the Deluxo. That was an awesome friggin' buy right there. And we still got cops, so we got to get killed. All right. He just ran one of his... He just ran him over. All right, punch him in the face. What's that, Pat? Are you pretty sure you picked up a Spaz shotgun a couple of, of uh, Kyos ago, but it's not in your inventory? Interesting. Uh, did you buy it, or is it one that you found on the uh, ground? Normally, if it's, a, if it's a weapon that you find on the ground and you haven't purchased it, then uh, you can use the weapon during a mission, but the moment you change sessions or log out, it disappears. 
You have to actually buy it in order to uh, keep it. Yeah, no, Dustin, you're right about that. They are. They are. They're they're uh, they're predatory in a sense that uh, they're not just targeting. I don't end up all the way over here. They're not just targeting uh, adults. They're, they're targeting kids too. So that does happen. But we got to remember that, uh, what is it, EA, Ubisoft, and Rockstar are all publicly traded companies. They're publicly traded companies, which means that they answer to shareholders and stockholders only. They don't care about us. They don't care about what we think. Yeah, I think that's one of the reasons why this coming up, uh, this upcoming DLC is not going to be as great as it should be. So, Mondo, you're, you're using the Deluxo exclusively, huh? Hey, I love my Deluxo. It's an awesome car. It is an awesome vehicle. All right, we're done here. And what's that? It's already paid for itself? Yeah, exactly. Mine, too. Across both of my accounts. I did miss the chance to buy the, uh, the uh, Deluxo on my main PC account. I completely missed it. But it's okay. Uh, if I want the Deluxo, all I have to do is run a couple of Kayos, uh, and I'll buy it at full price. Because, in my opinion, it's still worth it. All right, are we here yet? Yes, we are. Once again, thank you guys for stopping by today's impromptu live stream. Uh, this today's live stream will not replace tomorrow's scheduled live stream, so I'll be back again tomorrow. Same bat time, same bat channel. Excuse me for one second. Okay. So what's up, Pat? You've been switching up and doing patrol boats. Okay. Yeah, Dustin, what was... You know, I was a little disappointed that the terabyte wasn't on sale. Welcome back, Captain. That was a master class in clandestine reconnaissance. And you have a turn, too, no? Now do business. Come over to the screen, and I will give you the tour. Yeah, you know, it's pretty bad when Cyberpunk 2077 can, can do Grand Theft Auto better than Grand Theft Auto, right? Hey, Joker, uh, as a matter of fact, I did. I'm still waiting for um, the, the CPU, the CPU, the motherboard, and the RAM. Those are coming from the States. <clears throat> and because they're coming from Amazon.us, uh, they're going to take probably three weeks to get here. I couldn't get any of that stuff cheaper here in Japan. The exception was the uh, the Ryzen 7 5700X CPU that just went on sale immediately here, so I bought that. Also, what I got were the two... I got all of my uh, my hard drives here. Oh, excuse me, my SSDs. I got two uh, Samsung 970 Evos. One terabyte a piece, I bought those on sale. They were, they were like 60 bucks each. Seriously, $60 each for one terabyte hard drives from Samsung. The best that you can get. That's nuts. And I also picked up a, a one terabyte SATA drive to upgrade my uh, my gaming laptop. So the other parts I'm waiting for to come in from Amazon.us. Okay, plasma cutter. 
Yeah, I, Mondo, I agree. I want to get the Akula Chopper when it goes on sale, too. I missed it last time about a month ago when it went on sale. And that's only because I didn't have the money to get it. It was still a little expensive, but we'll see. I, something's telling me that they're going to put it back on sale again. Yeah, Dustin, I agree with that. I agree with that 100%. Let's go. Wait a minute, why am I in a helicopter? I have an oppressor out there. <laughs> I use this stupid helicopter so much that I totally forgot about that. Get back in there. <laughs> yeah, Joker, the 5700X is only slightly, like a hairpin slower than the 5800X. But the 5700X, believe it or not, is like a 5800X refresh. It is. It's like a refresh of the 5800X. And I got mine, I picked mine up here for, it was like 220 bucks. That's how much it was here in Japan. And we got to remember, uh, you got to take into account the exchange rate as well. So just to give you an example, Joker, when I when I uh, canceled the uh, the parts that I ordered from the states to buy them here, I saved like 140 bucks just by canceling the orders from Amazon US and ordering them here in Japan. I have a total savings of about 140 dollars. So that's money that I can put into other things. So I saved a pretty good deal of cash on that. But the 5700X is a beast of a gaming CPU. We will need to use perfect tool, a plasma cutter. But such a tool is very easy to trace, and I think you would agree we do not want Mr. Rubio tracing us. So yes. Dustin, you got both your coolers. Nice. Has given us lead. A gang very it's probably the best uh the best free mode helicopter in the game, I think. Yeah, Joker, I saved a ton of money just by canceling those orders from Amazon.us and ordering them from Amazon.jp. If I could have gotten the, the other CPU, the 5900X CPU, the motherboard, and the RAM here, I would have, but they're still way too expensive. Even with the exchange rate, because right now the dollar, the dollar is really strong against the Japanese yen, so that accounted for a good portion of the savings. You know, so once uh, once the CPU motherboard and the RAM gets here, and I bought I bought 64 gig of RAM because the RAM was ridiculously cheap, also. But I bought 64 gig of RAM, even though you don't need that much. You only need 16 gig for gaming, but because I do content creation, I bought the extra just in case. And any extra RAM that I don't need, uh, I can put that on my other system because it's all DDR4. So, uh, Dustin, you think the Savage is easier to fly? It's funny. I haven't. Uh, I should try to fly the Savage one day. It's too bad we can't test fly games in the, in the GTA. That would be pretty cool. There they are. Updating GPS now. Okay, Rockford Hills. So, Joker, you got 32 gig on your system right now? Nice. On... On my uh, current uh, system, my current gaming system slash editing system, I've only got 16 gig, which is th it's like the bare minimum if you're a content creator. So you know, I'm, I uh, Mondo, I think that uh, I think the Savage is going to go on sale at around Christmas. 
Rockstar is going to do it again. They'll, they'll put that stuff on sale. And I, that's probably one of the reasons why they didn't put it on sale this time. Yeah, 16 gig is the bare minimum. So that's why I bought 64 gig of the same type. That way, if I decide uh, that I want to upgrade the, the RAM on my existing system, I, it's, it's a pop-in upgrade. It's all DDR4 RAM. So it'll be fairly easy. And again, thank you guys for stopping by today's impromptu live stream. If you haven't done so, please take a second and hit that like button. It helps out the channel a ton. It really does. If you're new out there, don't be afraid to say hello. We're all a family here. Uh, take a second to consider subscribing to become part of the Odd Ones. We do have a crew. And we frequently have uh, crew-related heists on old-gen Xbox. So... If you're a member of the Odd Ones, then uh, we can sometimes we can bring you in for one of the heists, and we can all get paid. Don't don't fall into the ocean. There we go. Okay. Yeah, Joker, that's what I hope for. Uh, something else that I want to do is get a, a good dedicated capture card, but that's going to have to wait. Uh, what I've done recently is ordered a, uh, I ordered a cheap uh, off-brand Chinese capture card uh, for my console. That way I can stream from the console to the PC without my uh, connection dropping. Right now I'm using the old original setup, so we may lose connection during the live stream. So far, so good, but uh, I have to get all this set up and test it to make sure it works. Yeah, uh, Joker, exactly. That's the same way I am, both in game and in real life. Uh, so. Fuck shit. Ah, uh, here we go. Your fake cash is in genuine trouble. It's about to get used in an arms deal. Here we go. Get over there and get it back before the sale goes through. Yep, we're getting raided. Let's go. Knew that was going to happen. Defend your business, and I got to fly all the way out to Polito Bay. Thanks. Or not Polito Bay, but uh, Grand Sonora Desert. And I probably have barely what? One, maybe two pallets? Yeah, Joker, um, <laughs> I resupplied uh, my MC businesses so that I could sell them off. Uh, sell them off during the stream. But uh, apparently that's not going to happen because I just got my businesses getting raided. This is, this is complete BS right here. In order to do anything else in Grand Theft Auto Online, business related, you have to be a CEO, VIP, or an MC. You don't have a choice. But as soon as you register as a CEO, VIP, or MC, and you've got one pallet of goods in your your uh, one of your drug businesses or your MC businesses, then the raid timer starts. Then you get raided. And look at this. My cash is going down. Seriously? I'm, I'm going to go out there and I'm blowing everybody up. Screw it. If there's no cash left, it'll burn. I don't care. This really pisses me off. This sucks. <laughs> this does. Yeah, uh, Pat, exactly. I know how you feel. This sucks. You can't, you literally can't do anything else except focus on your MC business because of these stupid raid timers.
It's like rock stars trying. Yeah, exactly, Joker or, or a Pat. Exactly. No, I'm blowing everything up. I don't care what's out there. LJT, you can kiss my butt, buddy. Everything is getting blown up. <laughs> I don't care what it is. I'm in the middle of trying to run a Kayo to make a million dollars, and my counterfeit cash is getting raided. You have got to be kidding me. Hey, Joker, you remember that old R&B song, The Roof is on Fire? We don't need no water. Let that mf -er burn. That's what we're going to do right now. That's what we're doing right now. Anybody else? Who else wants some? Do not make me come in there. If I got to come in there, it's going to be hell to pay. Oh, they did. Where's my cash? They drop any money, you cheap bums. You know what? And your mama too. Let's go. <laughs> Man, that pisses me off. I swear, if I didn't have this Mark II oppressor, it would have been a wrap. It would have been over. It would have been over. Alright, so my counterfeit cash is back. Yeah, the, the, the worst part is that something else can get raided during this entire time. Alright, so that's done. Hey, it's LJT. Look, I don't want to talk to you, buddy. I know what you're going to say. Buy security upgrades. No, I'm not going to do that. What's that, Pat? You spent three minutes trying to collect the uh, LD Organics? Yeah, you know, this game is just broken sometimes. S seriously. <laughs> yeah, Dustin, we can only hope that they fix the solo invite uh, terabyte sourcing. Hopefully they will fix it. It doesn't seem like that difficult of a thing to do. Alright, I'm not flying all the way back down to the uh, bottom of the map, so let's... Uh, First of all, let's disband so that I don't get raided by the, uh, for the time being. Let's find new session. We go back to the submarine. So otherwise, hope you guys are doing well. Unbelievable. Yeah, I never quite understood the raid timer thing. If you have one crate, one pallet of goods in any one of your MC businesses, you can get raided. But you can't do anything else in the game. You can't manage any of your other businesses unless you're a CEO, VIP, or an MC. Rockstar should fix that. They should. And when I, when I, uh, when I say fix, I mean get rid of it completely. But of course, knowing Rockstar, they would make it worse. Alright. Alright, 
Yeah, Dustin, that's right. And yeah, exactly, exactly. But with the MC business, you can have one pallet of goods and that's it. You can get raided. They need to fix that. That's just a, that doesn't make any sense to me. Never did understand that. How is it? What's different between CEO Special Cargo and the MC businesses and the bunker with respect to raids? If you're going to get raided, why not just make them even across the board? You know, one pallet of goods, one pallet of goods can cause a raid. More about the news. That's what I think about that helicopter now. All right. Okay, where is my Mark II? That's an interesting conspiracy theory there, Dustin. <laughs> Yeah, and Pat, that's just, you know, that's wrong. I think if you if you buy to if you purchase supplies to resupply your businesses, they should not get raided. If you steal the supplies, then I can understand the raid. It's ridiculously frustrating because like I said, in order to manage any of your other businesses, your CEO, your gun running anything, even your nightclub, you have to register as a CEO, VIP or MC. But as soon as you register as any one of those three, that sets off the raid timer. <laughs> What's that, Mondo? Seriously, you got raided again? After finishing one? Yep, yeah, that's Rockstar logic. The location of the archives is rotated every few weeks. The current location is documented on the computer system in this warehouse. You must avoid surveillance cameras or destroy them. Or just kill the power. There will be circuit box not too far from here. This place will be guarded. If you do not let the cameras see you, you will have the element. Yeah, two rays of back to back, that's just it sucks. And you guys saw it right here. It can happen while I'm in the middle of a Kayo setup. Yeah, that's just, that's rock star logic. That makes no sense. So each individual MC business has a separate raid timer.
Yeah, that makes absolutely no sense. You see the complacency of American cyber industry? The security is months out of date. I would be surprised if half of Russia is not already using it as cryptocurrency form. Excellent. We know where to find the archive and the tool we need. Oh, great. We know where the archive is. Let's go. <laughs> What's that, Mondo? You just lit him up with the... <laughs> Yeah, well, if I, if I wasn't trying to keep this uh, stream family-friendly, I would be putting out a, a few expletives myself here. Because that really bugs me that in order to get anything done... Like, here it is. I'm in the middle of a prep mission for Kayo. Something that has nothing to do, nothing at all to do with the bikers. But I can't, I can't disband my MC and I can't resign as a CEO. Sorry about that. <clears throat> so they're telling me that as soon as I uh, finish a prep mission or something like that, then guess what? The raid timer goes off and I have to go out and fight another, another raid. Yeah, I'm not even sure how much of that cash I lost. It looked like it was half a bar. So Cody, seriously, five back-to-back -back raids? Yeah, I would, uh, I would delete, <laughs> I'd delete GTA Five after that, and I would also delete Steam. I'd uninstall Steam as well. You are close now. There will be CCTV here as well. Problem solved. <laughs> yeah, Pat, exactly. <laughs> I know that feeling. I do know that feeling, yes. Oops. Got it. Sorry about that, I was looking at chat. Yeah, so that's something else that kind of pisses me off, Dustin. The delivery timer. How does that make any sense? If you're solo, what difference does it make if you have a timer? That's one of the reasons why I try to sell my MC goods at less than half a bar. If they're less than half a bar, that's two vehicles. The, uh, the weed business, when I set up the weed business on my main account, uh, it was just over, just over half a bar of, uh, of product. That meant that I had three, what was it, three trash trucks? I had three garbage trucks full of weed to deliver and uh, 30 minutes to do it in. Because of where... That's just ridiculous. Why am I flying all the way back out there? Because of where my... Uh, my Wii business was located because of where the, the garbage trucks were. I had to drive all the way out from the Grand Sonora Desert down to the city. And just getting back and forth took 10 minutes. So you guys will see in the video later on that of the 15 deliveries that I had for weed, I only completed 14 of them.
But no, it, it doesn't make any sense. There should be no timer if you're rolling solo. If you have a crew with you helping you deliver, then I can understand that. Let's see. And the box builds are very slow. They're ridiculously slow. Oops, wrong button. <laughs> there we go. I'm trying to land this thing so that we're not slanted. If the bike tilts to one side, uh, then it'll fall into the ocean when you walk into the submarine. And that's uh, $10,000 uh, $10, deductible that you got to pay for Morris Mutual to get your bike back. And you know, that's something else Rockstar should do something about. Get rid of these slow delivery vehicles. Get rid of that Boxville. Or if nothing else, they should uh, change the, the handling flags on it or something and make it faster. So, you're back. The surveillance is over. Now the fun begins. We can begin at the screen whenever you're ready, Captain. Okay, cutting torch. So again, thank you guys for stopping by today's impromptu live stream. Much appreciated. If you haven't done so, please take a second to hit that like button. It helps out the channel a ton. If you are new here, don't be afraid to say hello. We're all a family here. You OGs out there make everyone feel welcome. You know you got to represent. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> oh man, do I have to go back on top of that stupid skyscraper? The one that's never going to be finished. Yeah, that's a good question, Dustin. What's the, purp the purpose of the armored box bill anyway? If you can't use it for delivering drugs. I know it's used for special vehicle work, but what else is it there for? And it's not armored. The armor sucks on it. Don't mind me, I'm just a guy wearing all blue. I'm going to put on a hard hat and look inconspicuous. Great, now I look like one of the village people. Let me guess, it's the last one, isn't it? God, I hate coming in here. This one's normally not that bad. You know, Mondo, that's actually a really good idea. I wish we could use the uh, the nightclub vehicles for deliveries because they're faster. They're at least upgraded.
especially since if you think about it the the your biker businesses are connected to your nightclub anyway so you should technically be able to use your nightclub vehicles to deliver your MC goods that makes sense land this thing. There we go. Surprisingly, it's a very busy week in Grand Theft Auto this week. It, it's a good event week. It is. It's a really good event week. Like, and I, I'm going to mention this again. On my main PC account, <clears throat> where I, I've got four MC businesses. I've got the counterfeit cash, a methamphetamine, weed, and a cocaine lockup. All four businesses are fully upgraded, with the exception of the, the uh, security upgrade, because you don't really need that. I sold all four of those businesses at half at a half stock. They were half full. Okay, I made just under $3 million at double cash and RP. That was some stupid money right there. That was nuts. I'll be posting a video on that later on tonight, but uh, that was that was some of the best money grinding that I had seen in a very long time for bikers. So it's a really busy week. There's a lot a lot of good going on actually. So I hopefully Rockstar will continue this trend and give us another good week on Thursday. Uh-oh, Wired X is in the house. Our five-star pilot is here. What's good, brother? <laughs> What's good, brother? Good to see you. Pat, no, I do not have the mastered control terminal. LGT with some oh, for foot. What? Someone's about to rat out our powder factory to the narcs. Take them out and clean up the evidence. Didn't I just activate the uh, the prep mission? I thought I just activated the prep mission. I was standing there. What? I must have hit the wrong button or something. Here we go. Another raid. Rockstar, fix your raids. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Yeah, Pat, <laughs> oh my god, Pat, yes. It's a conspiracy. Rockstars, they're watching my my live stream. They're watching the stream right now. They're finding ways, that they're, they're thinking, we're going to screw with this guy. We're totally going to screw with this guy. That's okay, I know how to do this one. This is the same raid that I had uh, when I was recording video yesterday. You have got to be kidding me. This is the second friggin' raid during this stream. Hey, Mondo, it doesn't matter whether you're a CEO, VIP, or MC. The raid timer for MC businesses remain the same. So you can be a CEO and your weed business will still get raided. Or your uh, your MC businesses will still get raided. So it doesn't matter. As long as you're registered as, as a CEO, VIP, or MC, you can be raided. Excuse me. <clears throat> but unfortunately, because we're running a Kayo... Because we're running a Kayo, we don't have a choice. We have to be a CEO, VIP, or MC. Otherwise, we can't do any prep missions. So you don't have a choice. This is one of the reasons why I don't manage any of my... Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry about that, my throat. This is why I don't manage any of my MC businesses. Just give me one second. Kill everything. Anybody else left? Yep. All right, where's the stuff?
Now I gotta lose the stupid cops. Thanks, Rockstar. Hey, Nerd Pancake is in the house. Hey, brother. What's going on? Good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, Wired. I'm not going to be on very long. As a matter of fact, as soon as I finish this coyote, that's going to be the end of the stream. That is, as soon as as soon as I finish this stupid raid, then finish the coyote. Unbelievable. So I'm not going to be on very long today. There we go. But I do want to mention that today's live stream is not going to replace tomorrow's live stream. I'll be back as per scheduled uh, tomorrow. That is insane. That's the second raid in, what was it, what, 30 minutes? All right, let's send the bike back. Now see, if I click on MC President right now, I can't disband because there's a because the stupid raid is still active. This makes absolutely no sense. Okay, now we can disband it. Okay, so let's disband. Let me head back to the submarine. Yeah, Pat, exactly. And both of them while I was in the Kasatka, while I was in the submarine. Like I said, you can be a CEO, VIP, or MC. The raid timer will continue. It doesn't matter. As long as you're registered as one of those, then your MC businesses can get raided. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's see if we can finish this. This was insane. I could have sworn that that I initiated a setup mission to get the weapons. And all of a sudden the raid went off. I was wondering why my character was just kind of standing there. I'm going to have to re-watch the stream and see what happened. Alright, let's try this again. Yeah, that's what I thought. I did. I did. So at least we got the Penrith building. So I actually initiated this prep mission, but the heist, the raid, the, the raid stopped the prep mission. I had never seen that before. I had never seen that before. That is nuts. I'm trying to watch my language right now because you better believe every expli expletive, excuse me, <laughs> every expletive in a book right now is going through my mind. I can't possibly believe this. Yeah, no Merriweather. I should have uh, fast traveled. It's okay. We'll just fly there. But I refuse to take this stupid helicopter. Where's my uh, oppressor? Yeah, that's, I mean, seriously, you guys saw it on video. I thought maybe I had pushed the wrong button or something, but I initiated a prep mission for Kyle Perico. 
But for some reason, a raid, a raid takes precedent over Kyle Perico prep missions? You have got to be kidding me. I had never seen that before. You OGs out there in chat are going to have to let me know if that's ever happened to you. I have never seen that happen before. All right, let's just get here, get this, get these weapons, and get get out of here because this is nuts. I'm about to flip my my mind right now. Okay, let's send that stupid helicopter back. Services, Kosaka, return. Unbelievable. But thank you guys for stopping by today's impromptu live stream. Uh, again, this live stream will not replace tomorrow's scheduled live stream. So we're going to be back here again tomorrow. And what we'll do uh, during tomorrow's live stream is sell the uh, sell all the goods in the uh, in the MC businesses, and then we'll run into the Cayo or do another uh, excuse me another uh, diamond diamond casino heist. Excuse me. So right now, it's all about us making as much money as we can before the DLC. Uh, again, today's live stream was impromptu because I wanted to get my uh, get my biker businesses going again so that I can make some money on them and to run a, a Kayo to pay for the weed business that I just bought and fully upgraded. And tomorrow, we'll get back into making some real cash. Okay, let's get a good weapon. That'll work. <laughs> yeah, Thursday, uh, my time Thursday is going to be the, the video will be the next uh, car customization review, probably an episode of Flipping Cars. I think since this week, uh, during this event week, we have the... Uh, the uh, the Obey the 9F the 9F Cabrio is one of the test rides at the uh, the LS uh, car meet, so I think I'm gonna customize the uh, the 9F Cabrio. Anybody else? You okay, he's dead. All right. <laughs> and this time, I promise not to forget the weapons on the way out. If it won't open, check for computer. These systems often have remote locking. Okay. <laughs> What's that, Dustin? <laughs> hey, those people got a lot of money in their pockets, believe it or not. <laughs> oh, 29. Oh, 14. Okay, nice. So 59, 21, 14. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, those casino patrons got a lot of money in their pockets.
Hell, even the valet guy usually has between, what is it, 14 or 17 and 30 bucks in his pocket when you beat him up. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, let's go. And this Kayo should pay for all of the modifications or, or pay for the weed business. And tomorrow, again, we'll sell off everything, and that's, that's where the real money will come in. To the roof. <clears throat> but this is an excellent week to get some good money grinding out of the way. I don't think I've ever seen bikers pay that kind of cash. Seriously. I don't think I've ever seen bikers pay that kind of money before. So it's like I mentioned, of the four businesses that I, biker businesses that I have, I made three mil. And none of the businesses were completely full. They were all half full with product. So that's some good money grinding right there. Services, Kosatka. This is a good week to make some uh, some serious cash in the game, especially before before the um, the the uh, weekly update and before the DLC releases. Jamie, hello, how are you? Good to see you. Thanks for stopping by today. Welcome to the live stream. Where's the other one? Yeah, this game is ridiculous. You shoot out, you shoot down one helicopter, and two more helicopters spawn out of nowhere. Rockstar logic. Actually, let's uh, get rid of the bike. We don't need that anymore. Return that so that it doesn't fall into the ocean. All right, done. Uh, no, this is Xbox. Uh, Jamie, we're on Xbox here. Old gen Xbox. Because I can't buy an Xbox Series X anywhere. I can't even get a PlayStation 5 anywhere. And I, and I am definitely in the market for an Xbox Series X. Okay, so all the prep mission is done. Guys, give me one second. I need to take a short uh, two-minute break. I'll be right back. Uh, once again, thank you guys for stopping by today's impromptu live stream. This live stream will not replace tomorrow's scheduled live stream. So we will be, we'll be back here tomorrow again. Uh, same time, same channel. And uh, if you are new here, please take a second and hit that like button. It helps out the channel a ton. Uh, if you are new also, don't be afraid to say hello. Excuse me. <clears throat> We're all a family here. You OGs out there, make everybody feel welcome. You know you got to represent. Seriously, you can get the Xbox Series X in the UK? I'm going to have to check some UK websites then because this, this thing is sold out everywhere. It is. I can't find one anywhere. But again, I'll be right back, guys. Don't go anywhere. Sit tight. We'll be right back.
Okay, and we're back. All right. Ouch, I just stubbed my toe. That hurts. <laughs> I'm in some pain here. Goodness. Uh, so, Jamie, what we're going to do uh, is... Excuse me. We're going to finish this Kyle, and that'll be the end of the live stream. I have to go take care of some uh, personal business here really soon. So, we're going to knock out this Kyle Perico heist finale, and uh, that'll be it. Now, because we have... Um, we have biker goods uh, waiting to be sold. Uh, we're going to save that for tomorrow's live stream. So we're going to sell all that stuff up during tomorrow's live stream. Today uh, will be the Kayo, and uh, that'll pretty much be it. There we go. Any day now, Rockstar. Thank you. And, of course, tomorrow we'll keep it crew only. Uh, that way, uh, if there are any OGs out there, anyone on Xbox, old-gen Xbox that's part of the crew, and, we, and if we can get them in here, we will. So, approach vehicle. And the secondary loot is not that great. <laughs> so we'll be lucky if we get the um, if we get the elite challenge on this because it's gonna take a while to get all of the secondary loot. So Dustin, that's pretty cool. This this is the new pl uh, PlayStation controller that you're talking about, correct? Yeah, it's it's really interesting. There's something about the controllers on Xbox that are they're, I think they're a little more robust than the controllers on the PlayStation. Because I've been using these controllers for the past, what is it, three years now, and I haven't had any problems with them. <laughs> that dude totally ran into me. You guys saw that, right? All right, let's park the boat. Let's go. It's trying to keep the boat from drifting away because that does happen on occasion. And time is going to be kind of important here, especially since I got to hit both of these warehouses. Wait a minute, that was cash. Let's get this first. Let's get this first. Had to think for a second. Let's get this. There's weed up there, and then we'll go get the cash. So we got a stack of cocaine here, we got a stack of weed upstairs. We'll take care of that first, then we'll get the cash. By the way, you will always have room in your bag for main objective. I have crafted special compartment for us. Okay. All right, come on, go, go, go. Now, if I miss a chat, uh, I'm not ignoring anyone. Uh, I'm just trying to focus on getting through this finale without getting caught. 
I've had that happen before. I hope you guys are doing well. Again, thanks for stopping by today's impromptu live stream. Much appreciated. Start looting, but come on, man. <clears throat> Again, today's live stream will not replace tomorrow's scheduled live stream. I'm just trying something different, uh, seeing if uh, adding additional live streams to my uh, schedule for the week will uh, improve things for the channel. All right, let's go get this cash. Never understood why I couldn't, why I can't sprint inside of a uh, warehouse. It makes no sense to me. All right, let's not screw this up. Remember, cameras everywhere. Almost like Mr. Rubio feels a little paranoid sometimes. Okay, we got him. Go. He's dead. Take out the camera. Okay, let's get this piddly little amount of cash over here. You know, Dustin, it's funny you should mention that. When uh, the, the event week began... When the event week began, and um, I was in my nightclub, everything, all of my uh, vacant uh, uh, warehouse spots began to fill up really quickly. <laughs> they did. Now, that's probably because I have my nightclub completely outfitted with the staff and equipment upgrades. But uh, my nightclub uh, warehouse technicians accrue goods really quickly. Especially with this uh, double speed going on. Alright, come on. Go, go, go. Got a win, win, win. We're on the clock. And the whole idea behind running a Kyle heist today is to pay for the weed business that I bought and its upgrades. So this pays for the weed business. And tomorrow when we sell off, uh, I'm estimating that to be about 2, maybe 2.1 mil. Only because the only business that I have... Let's run this guy over. Oh, he's dead. That's only because only the marijuana business is fully upgraded with staff and equipment upgrades. Uh, my meth, cocaine, and um, counterfeit cash businesses are not. That's because none of the staff and equipment upgrades for those businesses are on discount this week. So I'm going to wait until that stuff goes on sale. But whatever product I have in those businesses, we're going to sell it off anyway. Nice. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Perfect. As we say in Navy, you want the element of surprise? Choose least hygienic option. Now, enjoy your little swim, yes? Yeah, the secondary loot was really bad for this run. 
I mean, it wasn't terrible. We did have that one stack of cocaine. And that one stack of weed, so it wasn't too terribly bad. What's that, Cody? El Rubio, fix your drainage tunnel. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Okay, that double tap. Sí, César. Recién estaba hablando con él. Okay, he's dead. Like I said, this is some James Bond stuff going on right here. He's dead. I really hope somebody's got the gate key. <laughs> got it. Thank God. I would hate to have to hack my way downstairs. Okay, he's dead. All right. Should be smooth sailing from this point on. Should be. There will be many locked doors in Mr. Rubio's house. Worth looking for keys, I think. All right. Let's go, go, go. Come on. Uh, it would be rude not to check the safe, I think. I like how he just puts his gun away and he fell down there. I fell over the dead guard. That's funny. Okay, where's Big Boy? He just turned the corner. Okay, we're good. So we can actually go this way. <clears throat> so hope you guys are doing well. Thanks for sticking with me on this impromptu live stream. Once we're finished... With the coyote, that's pretty much going to be it. He has a fingerprint scan here too? Right. There we go. The usual plan. Cycle the there we go. To match the target print, and the tool will do the rest. Okay, so Dustin, you do have all of those uh, upgraded with staff and equipment upgrades. Did it work? We must be close now. I will say that I do notice a difference in... Um, in the speed at which my warehouse technicians accrue goods at the nightclub. I definitely notice a difference. But that's only for this event week. It would be too much for us to expect Rockstar to make something like that permanent, I guess. They don't want us making money too quickly. All right, we got the necklace. Let's get out of here. So this is only going to be good for about 1.3, which I'll take. Okay, big boy is still on that side of the map. We're good. All right, let's get out of here. It's kind of funny. I just noticed that there was a guard standing right there as we ran up to the gate. <laughs> but because we're outside of his cone of vision, he can't see us run up to the gate. Rockstar logic. 
All right, go, go, go. I'm getting like 20 frames per second here. You know, the funny thing about this particular part of the uh, Cayo Perico map is that even on PC, you're only getting like 40 frames a second. Oh, jeez. Uh, that stupid guard must have seen me on the bike. There we go. <laughs> uh, Pat, that depends on what the primary loot is, I think. Um, because with okay secondary loot... Because the, the primary loot's not that great. It's the necklace, so that's a mill. We'll see what we get from this. So 5.1. As you can see, our actual take is uh, 3.2. I think we got the Elite Challenge bonus on this. Yeah, so we got the Elite Challenge. So this is 3.7 mil. Uh, it's about even. If we, let's say, for example, had gotten the pink diamond as a solo player, then with okay loot, then it would be, it's better if you do it solo. If you have, let's say, for example, uh, one other person with you with the pink diamond, but you've got gold, you've got gold as the vault loot, then you could split it 50-50 and you guys would make a ton more money. You'd make much more money that way. Yeah, uh, Pat, exactly. The most dangerous thing on that island are the trees. <laughs> That's it. All right. And with that being said, that uh, heist is a wrap. So what I'm going to do... Let's disband because I don't want another call from LJT. Because you know that guy's always calling me about getting raided. All right. Let me change my spawn location to the Great Chaparral Clubhouse, because that's where we'll be next time. All right. So what do we got? Okay, so we're back up to where we were before, uh, I, bought the, <laughs> before I bought the weed farm. All right. So what we're going to do is end the stream here. And uh, again, this live stream will not replace tomorrow's live stream. So I'll be back here tomorrow, same bat time, same bat channel. Uh, with another live stream and tomorrow what we'll do is sell off all of the biker goods and probably run another uh, what diamond casino heist uh, so that we can all get paid here but uh, I think that's what we'll do for tomorrow's live stream so again thank you guys for stopping by today much appreciated it's good to see everybody here especially some of you OGs out there thanks for stopping in this was uh, uh, basically an attempt to see uh, whether or not streaming more during the week would be better for the channel. And I'll have to take everybody's feedback and uh, we'll go from there. So otherwise, thank you guys for stopping by today. Much appreciated. 
and hope to see you guys tomorrow for tomorrow's scheduled live stream. So hopefully I'll be able to get online at between 1 or 1.30 Japan Standard Time. And Pat, yes, absolutely. We'll see you tomorrow, brother. Again, thank you for being here. So let's get the shouts out of the way. Uh, again, Pat, thank you for being here, brother. We'll see you next time. Cody, thanks for being here, bro. We'll see you next time. Dustin, as always, a pleasure. We'll see you next time. Jamie, thanks for stopping by, brother. We'll see you next time. Mondo, hopefully we'll see you tomorrow, brother. We'll see you next time. Wired X, I know you're out there. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow, brother. Nerd Pancake, thanks for stopping in, brother. Good to see you. We'll see you next time. Joker, if you're still out there, brother, thanks for stopping in. Take care, brother. We'll see you next time. Cody, I know you're out there, bro. We'll see you next time. The 7-Eleven Soul Gamer. Hey, brother, thanks for stopping in. We will see you next time. It's good to see you today. Benny, thanks for stopping in, brother. We're good to see you. We'll see you next time. Shogun, thanks for stopping by, brother. We will see you next time. Thanks for being here today. Michael Knight, I know you're out there, bro. We'll see you next time. KP Stacks, thanks for being with us today, bro. We'll see you next time. A. Martin, thanks for being here. We'll see you next time. All right, and on that note, guys, I got to get out of here. This live stream is a wrap. I've been Oddman105, a.k.a. The Odd One, saying thank you to each and every one of you guys for your support and for joining us today. Hopefully, we'll see you back here tomorrow. Same bat time, same bat channel. And with that being said, I will see you guys when I see you guys in the next live stream. Please stay safe, keep bringing that smoke, and take care out there. Let's go to story mode and sign off properly. Let's put some music on.